What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys a justified Terrakion team, and I believe Terrakion is going to be allowed in ranked battles in the next season. So I'm here to show them off in casual ladders to get some first-hand gameplay. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on the videos. I appreciate each and every single one of you. But rocking out on this team, we got our boy Terrakion. This thing's an absolute beast. It is justified holding that choice scarf and his moves are close combat for stab, rock slide for stab, iron head, and X Scissor both for coverage moves. If you guys do not know what Justify does, we can use Beat Up with the Dragapult. We have Dragapult right behind my face cam, and it can actually boost our attack stat each time we get hit with it. So we can get totally rocking out with our physical attack stats and dominate with them. Speaking of Dragapult, it has Focus Sash, Clear Body, Beat Up, Shadow Ball, Draco Meteor, and Fire Blast. Nice big special attacking Dragapult. Another new Pokemon that we were showing off in today's video, we got Magnezone Sturdy as its ability. If you guys do not know what Sturdy does, it acts as like a Focus Sash. It cannot get one hit and die. It's holding that air balloon so no ground moves till they hit us. T bolt flash cannon for stab. Ally switch to actually throw off the opponent and protect. Gale Wings Town Flame is also rocking out on this team. I love Town Flame. If you guys have been playing uh, Casual Ladder or playing with the Isle of Armor Pokemon, everyone knows Town Flame is so good. This thing has Gale Wings for first turn priority with full health, with flying moves, and it has the life orb. So this thing can actually hit like a truck. It has Brave Bird, Tailwind, Flare Blitz, and Taunt. That has been its staple moveset of Town Flame in the uh, recent meta or new meta that's coming out. We got Amoongus right here with Spore, Rage Powder, Giga Drain, Clear Smog, Regenerator, and that Wiki Berry. I love Regenerator ability and I love Clear Smog too. So like we can prevent a lot of things from happening like weakness policies and all like belly jumps, all that good stuff. And then in the final spot, another new Pokemon who I'm very excited to show off. We got Azumarill with huge power and Citrus Berry. So huge power, it just boosts its attack. It's kind of like a better digger speed. Like this thing's typing is water and fairy, so it can hit like a truck. It has Belly Drum, Aqua Jet, Liquidation, and Play Rough. So this thing is so good. I can Dynamax a lot of Pokemon on this team, so I'm very hyped. So I can go with the Talon Flame, the Terrakion, the Dragapult even works out here, and the Azumarill. If you guys want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom screen. If you do use it, let me know how you do with it in the comment section down below. But without further ado, let's get on to that casual ladder and try to get some wins with this Terrakion team. First battle on its way, and I was just looking at the date. I was legit just looked down on my computer screen, and I saw the date, and I just realized we were about like two days out from the new season. So that is going to be so much fun. I cannot wait for the rank battle or whole meta to just change and have something totally different. It's going to feel like a brand new game. But going up against a Tauros squad right here. Tauros, is that Un Pheasant? Or is that a, a evolution of it? I forget that Pokemon's name. Silvali, Chandelure, uh, Sniper, Inteleon, maybe G-Max Inteleon. I'm not too sure. And uh, Togekiss and Togewogi. Um, Who should I lead here? Do I go to Do I go Dragapult and just Justified and go into the beat-up Dynamax and run out after that? I'm trying to think, what is really going to do work on me? Maybe that Inteleon. He might lead that Inteleon, which is kind of scary. But with that Choice Scarf, how fast is that Terrakion? Let me see, let me see. I got 30 seconds left to pick. How fast is this thing? This thing's gonna be fast. This thing's gonna be fast. I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go Terrakion Dragapult. Let's do it. Let's go there, there. Or I could go, uh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> no, I'm trying to think. Now, I'll go Magazine in the back end. Then I kind of want to go Talonflame here. Just have Talonflame in the back. Talonflame rocks out so good, especially with that ability. First turn priority and the Slave Orb. I can hit, like, an absolute beast and run out and get after this battle. But. First battle, let's get it, guys. Let's get it. And, yo, when the new season goes live, you best be knowing that your boy Gene's going to be live. Link in the description below, Gene's25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Go hit that follow button, turn on notifications. I've been a little slow with the streams, doing uh, like three days a week, but still, it's three to four days a week. So come hit that follow button, turn on those notifications. But you go to Sil Valley into, uh, into Inteleon. I don't even, mm, what should I do here? I know both my Pokemon should be able to outspeed that, uh, I don't know what's called. And Inteleon. I think I'm definitely going to Dynamax. And I'm going to make the weather my, my weather. Or I could go into a Max Knuckle and just get after that. But I don't think I'm going to need it. I really want this Inteleon out the way. He's the scary mon. And I'm gonna, just going to go straight for a beat up here. It's not very effective. No stab damage. So we're going to be able to eat up the beat ups so easily and get that attack boost and roll from there. But I'm hoping a Dynamax Choice Scarf Terrakion can outspeed either a Dynamax or regular Inteleon. Because I'm not trying to deal with it. I'm trying to get it out the way early on and run this battle with Terrakion. Like, dude, this thing's an absolute beast. What are the three other legendaries that go with it? Is it Verusian and someone else? Does Keldeo go with it? Or I think Keldeo is part of a different thing. Yeah, Keldeo is part of a different thing, I'm pretty sure. But dude, Terrakion's a beast. He's so good. 
Let's see what happens here. Beat up goes first. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Justify coming out. Look at that. Attack boost for each time we get hit for the beat up. Beat up is so good with Justify. Like, dude, it is just like, it's insane. If you can get rolling with it, I'm hoping I can show it off in this battle. If you can get rolling with it, it's just game over. It's just GG in the can. You know, hit him again. I think we're going to go up plus four because it depends on how many uh, party members you have. But I think we go up plus four. Let's see what happens. Yeah, here's our fourth hit. We're plus four right now. Oh, look, we only took how much damage? 13 damage? Ooh. Ooh. Light work. Light work. Now, does Terrakion go first? Go ahead, Terrakion. Oh, no. We, oh, they're going for the pledge. I'm totally fine by it. They're going for the grass and water pledge. Setting up the swamp. That's fine by me. Go ahead. Go for the swamp. And it does me damage to my Terrakion, but it's all good. We're going to go down. We're going to get uh, watered up here. So 75% speed drop. That is nuts. We try to set up in the swamp. And we say bye-bye to Italian. I kind of just want... Mm. Oh, no, no. Okay. Buffets are going to come out. I was going to say, this thing's focus, Sash. What you mean? But the Buffets are going to come out and help us out huge here. We get this wonderful Buffets. If I can take out two Pokemon with Terrakion, I feel like we could be chilling good here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Inteleon. Man, dude. I'm kind of scared because they got that swamp going. I don't know if I should swap here. A Dragapult. So I'm going to have to get off this Tailwind, but if I swap, then there's, there's a chance that I might not be able to get it off. Right, let's just keep rolling out. Let's just keep rolling out with Terrakion. They grass and water pledge me. Those hunks of junks. Those hunks of junks. He goes Tauros, who he's probably Dynamaxing, if I had to guess. If I had to guess, and I could go into a Max Knuckle, which that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'll try to get after that. And then, uh, I think Dragapult goes down soon, so I'm just going to drop a Draco Meter over on the left side. So this thing, what's it? I forget what Taurus' ability is. He has some ability that boosts his, his attack. I'm not too sure. But this thing can hit like an absolute beast. And he's definitely going after my, uh, my Teraki. I'm probably with a fighting move. He, has a, he can't do any stab move on my Pokemon. It's, it's going to be not very effective on Teraki. And it cannot hit my Dragon Ball. It would have been so nice to have Magnetone and just ally switch and get another kill with this Teraki. If we, we still might. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, he guards. You smart little cookie. You smart little cookie. What you mean? Oh, he's exploding. Exploding. I don't think that affects my Dragon Ball. And Terrakion might be able to eat that up. It's normal. It is normal. Go ahead, Terrakion. Eat this up, buddy. Doesn't affect Dragon Ball. Yeah, dude. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wasting your turn like that. Thank you very much, Sylveon. That was stupid. That was dumb. What are you doing? What are you doing, kid? Get out my face. I do not have a guard. I cannot guard or anything. So, Terrakion, we're just wasting turns right now. And I'm trying to get the swamp out of the way. Because if I get the swamp out of the way and get a tailwind up, I might can potentially come out here and do some mean work. Alright, let's see who he goes into. He's going to go into... Ooh, no, this thing. Unfez is it Unfezen? I'm not too sure. But I still want to drop a Max Knuckle over on you. And this thing might set up a tailwind. It's kind of scary, but I'm going to drop a Draco Meteor across this way. It's a 2v4, actually. We still have two Pokemon in the back end. But I think two more turns in the swamp. This isn't looking bad for us. Because I still have my Thunderbolt. Stab Thunderbolt coming out here. He cannot one-tap me because it's sturdy. Buffets cannot hit Magnetone because he's steel typing. And I get first-hand priority with the, uh, with the what's called. Oh, he's always hitting him. What is this thing? Oh, this thing has Anger Point and is now max attack. Okay. He going after, buddy. And he eats his, uh, berry. Okay, what's that berry do? Oh, my lord, dude. This thing's going up. And he boosts his defense as well. Steel Spike coming out here. Probably going to take out my Terrakion. Yeah. Terrakion's going to go down here. And this thing has to go. This Tauros has got to go. He is max attack right now. And I definitely got to set up a Tailwind. I definitely got a Draco Meteor. Well, have this Draco Meteor land and see how much damage I can do with this. Wow, bruh. Dude, Tauros coming in hot. He coming in hot. Let's see what happens here. Here's my Meteor. How much damage are we doing? My Dragapult still outspeeds this thing in a, uh, in a swamp. Well, take this thing out. Do some mean damage. Come on, get it out of here. Down to low, y'all. We drop our special attack really, really low. Another, uh, another Draco Meter should be able to take that out. I'm gonna go for it. Buffets are all coming out here. Come on, what you want? Okay, so, I wanna see this, uh, Toro stats. Definitely gotta set up a Tailwind here, right? Yeah, that Swamp should be over. The Swamp should be over, or next turn should be over. We'll see, we'll see. I think it's next turn should be over. Definitely get off this Tailwind here. And I gotta drop another Draco Meter. I gotta get this thing out the way. So I'm gonna drop a Draco Meter here. Because he can take out my uh, one of my Pokemon, which I'm hoping he goes after my Dragapult and takes him out. I think maybe I should have just went straight for a Braper there. But I think Tailwind is gonna come in clutch for us. Let's see. Tailwind comes out. Yeet. I'm thinking Poltsky might be able to outspeed him. Uh, 
even with that swamp. Let's see what happens. Oh no, he, he matches our tailwind. You little hunk of junk. You little hunk of junk. Let's see who goes. Toro's probably gonna go. Go for a max strike. Take out my town flame. That's totally fine. All right, town flame gone. Get out of your town flame. Oh my god, dude. This Taurus is a beast. This Taurus is a beast. I need the Striker Meteor to land. That's what I need. Striker Meteor land. Yes, okay. Striker Meteor lands. Our attack stat is trash. This Taurus cannot one shot us. That's a fact. Because we have sturdy up. So I just gotta get after this thing. I gotta get after. Hopefully, I need my Magnus to outspeed. We need the speed, baby. They're taking buffet damage. Comes down to a 2v1 with a huge, huge Tauros here. With a huge Tauros. Alright, let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening here. Get out there, Magazone. Do him dirty. We're floating the air with air balloon, and Tauros drops down. Tauros doesn't have too, too much health, so I'm going through another Draco Meteor and a uh, T-Bolt. Right? Which one will be better? We go for the Paralyzed. Hmm. Over Special Defense. I'm going to go for the T-Bolt here. And I'm going to drop a Draco Meteor. Let's get it. Come on. Give me match one in the bag. Give me match one. Draco Meteor comes out. How much? I don't Like, we're minus four. So I'm just dropping these things. I'm just dropping them. Trying to do some big damage. Come on. T-Bolt. Do them dirty. If Mag Zone outspeeds, we got, we got this one in the bag. It's a fact. He goes for an EQ. Oh, my God. He goes for an EQ. He goes for an EQ. It doesn't affect us. We got that. What's it called? We have that air balloon. We are chilling. We got this one in the bag now. We should, we should be fine, unless we miss an attack. It's the only way we lose. T-Bolt comes out. Yeet. And does it take it out? It takes it out right then and there. We would have had another turn because of our sturdy ability. But, yo, GG to this guy. Great match. We got to show off to Rakion, and that Tauros almost ran us up. <laughs> in the last battle, if that guy didn't get off the swamp, Terrakion was going to run it. We were going to outspeed and just dominate with plus four. It would have been amazing. But we still pick up that win. Now we're hopping into our second battle for this video. This guy has Charizard, probably G-Max Charizard. Dragapult, Toxtricity, could be G-Max Toxtricity, could be G-Max Cinderace, could be G-Max Rillaboom, and could be G-Max Urshifu. So this guy can have a bunch of different G-Maxes. I have no idea. I have no idea, but um, I think I'm going to take Speed Advantage here. Go uh, Talonflame, rock out with that. Who do I think he's really going to lead? Probably maybe Cinderace. And how fast is Zoomerill? How fast are you, Zoomerill? Mm, I don't think you're outspeeding that, uh, that Cinderace. I might go Terrakion, not even Dynamax him. And then go Azumarill on the back end with big power. That thing is a beast. That thing's an absolute beast. Then maybe just throw Magnus Zone in there for the uh, Thunder. I got the Flash Cannon as well. And the Ally Switch can come on Clutch. Where do I just go on Moongi? I could go on Moongi. I'm going to go Magnus Zone. Magnus Zone rocks out. He's so good. All right. Let's get rolling here. Let's get rolling. The reason I am leading to Rack is I can Rock Slide and take out that Cinderace in one shot. I believe I should be faster on the Cinderace without the Tailwind. But I can just Tailwind and just make sure. I think I can just make sure and drop a big old rock slide, take out the Cinderace, because chances are he might lead Cinderace. Which is fine by me. Which is fine by me. Now we're going to show off Terrakion, not even with the Dragon Pole. He can still do work. He goes Dragon Pole and Cinderace. Oh, lovely. This is just dandy, isn't it? It's just dandy. Terrakion and Talonflame. Let's get it. So, yeah, definitely a rock slide stab into Talon. Let's get rolling here. Rock slide this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We should be able to take out Cinderace in one shot if we uh, land it. Unless he protects or something. Because he's still fire typing. And this rock is still stabbing. We're still coming down. And we hitting him like a truck. Dude, look at Terrakion. He's such a cool looking Pokemon. Looks like a dog on steroids. Just ready to pounce on anything. <laughs> I love how everybody's wearing the dojo outfits now. I think it's hilarious. Everyone's got that dojo outfit on. They're rocking it out. And the thing is, I never changed my outfit before. Until the Isle of Armor. And now I got this up. Now I got my little dojo outfit. We got Gale Wings ability, so our tailing comes first. And here goes our rock side. We do connect. Come on, take out the Cinderace. Did my plan work right off the rip? <gasps> no. No, we bring it down to red. Any flinches? Right, he's going to U-turn into my Terrakion. Terrakion eats up. And like, we got speed advantage. Okay, we're, we're fine here. Flinch this Cinderace. Flinch it. Flinch it. Flinch that Cinderace. Man, I thought we were definitely going to take him out with the rock side, but... Think Things a little bulkier. Things a little bulkier. Brought it down to the red, though. And I got first turn priority. Like, our speed is all ours. Speed is all ours. And Cinderace flinches? Nope. High jump kick coming in. Uh-oh. Leave me alone! And he comes in here and dumps. Oh, this isn't even Labiro. He gets a crit, dude. What you mean? What do you mean this dude gets a crit? This game's doo-doo. This game's straight trash. All right. Uh, who's faster? Is Magnezone faster? I think Magnezone's 90 speed, right? He's 101. Okay. 101. 195. Jeez, dude. Things like a beast. I'm gonna go on uh, Magnezone here. 
This thing, I don't think that thing learned lightning rod. Electricity? I believe it doesn't learn lightning rod. I'm gonna save my, uh, my, what's it called? My Dynamax for, for Azumarill. So I'm gonna go Flare Blitz into that. That could potentially take it out. And we should be faster than that Cinderace. They have no speed boost. No way this thing's 102 speed. We should be chilling here. We just play, but we're gonna take recoil cool damage here. But it's fine. We're still like one of the fastest. Bang! See you later, yo. Big old damage coming out there, and T Bolt can come in here and take that out. That's fine. We're chilling. We're chilling here. Oh yes, sir. Jeans is making the right calls here. T Bolt, get him! Get him! I don't really care if I don't, if I don't show off the Zoomer in today's video. I would love to show them off, but like the main two Pokemon I really want to show off is definitely Terrakia and Magnezone, which I've been doing. Which I've been doing. Look at his little bolts on his shoulder. His little screws just like going back and forth. <laughs> That's hilarious. Urshifu comes out here. Is it the water one? I would love it to be the water one. And Polsky. If it's the other one, and then my Zoom Rail can one tap because it's four times super effective. And Brave Bird's just gonna dump on it anyway. So I'm just gonna Brave Bird. I'm just gonna go T Bolt mm, or Flash Cannon over on Dragon Ball. We're gonna go Flash Cannon because it's still stab. And we get some big old damage, and it's just regular effective. Yeah, go cheese. Hey, hey, yo, you're done. You're done. My talent flame is going to one tap your Urshifu. Unless it Dynamaxes. Or it's Focus Ash. Or it's Focus Ash. And then I think Pulte probably going to eat up a Flash Cannon, and then uh, we'll finish it off next turn. This dude should just cancel. He knows his game. I got a 195 Tailwind Talon Flame, so I believe it doubles your speed. So, you doing that math? What is that? Two? So, that's 290, isn't it? It's 290. That is absurd. Or no, where, where is it? 390. I'm doing maths wrong. <laughs> I'm doing maths so wrong right now. It's fine. It's fine. But, yo. Let's get it. Yeah, I think it's I think it's 390. Jeez, man. But, Urshfu, Dynamax. Can we take it out in one hit still? Let's see. Let's, what you got, Talonflame? Yo. Nope. Big old damage, though. That's huge damage. And Town Flame's gonna drop a lot of recoil damage here. And down to 5 health. Let's see what happens here. Flash Cannon comes out. Get it out there. Get him. Nice damage. Yo, Magnezone coming up big. One tap in that Dragon Bolt. Well, not fully one tapping, but taking him out in one shot. And he goes for G Max 1 blow, which will take on my Town Flame. That's fine. It's at 5 HP. And we'll finish it up. That's GG. Hey. GG, man. We got Speed Avenge. And dude, Azumarill, this is, we have Azumarill, and very typing to this Urshifu, since it's dark and fighting, is four times super effective. Like, if we would've did this to that Urshifu, we would've, uh, one-tapped it. I'm gonna go here, we have total speed advantage, and I'm gonna just ally switch. I'm just ally switch. Just, just play it stupid. Just play it stupid here. Because I know Azumarill's gonna take it out in one shot, no problem. No problemo, with huge power as well, I didn't even Dynamax, I didn't even need to. Let's get that ally switch on. Switch it up, just for the heck of it. <laughs> Magazine looks so cool. I love all the Sinnoh evolutions. Player off comes out here. Bye bye, Urshifu. Four times super effective. Takes him out, and we pick up a win without even using our Dynamax, dude. This team is so good so far. I think this might be my first team I use on the rank ladder. But let's hop into battle number three and try to get a perfect record for today's video. We have been seeing a ton of Politoed, Kingja, Swift Swim, Rain teams lately. And here's another one right here with Incineroar, Hattering to set Trick Room, Ferrothorn to roll out in Trick Room, and indeed to help set up the Trick Room. So here we go. It's easy to go on Rain or Trick Room. So can we get that perfect record? Can Jeans do it for the online gaming community, baby? Come on. What you want, fool? Um, who should I lead? Who should I lead here? I mean, if he goes Hattering, I kind of want to go... I kind of want to go Terrakion. But I kind of want to set speed at the same time. It's going to be tough. I bring my slower mons here. So I think I'm going to go Talonflame with Terrakion. And then go Amoongus Azumarill. Have my slower mons in the back end. So I could set up Tailwind if I really, really want to. Or if he's going Trick Room, I don't set up Tailwind. I try to go for the Rock Slide Flinch. Try to take out Pokemon. And then I have my Amoongus and Azumarill in the back end. And Azumarill will be my Dynamax Pokemon of choice. But let's get it, yo. Can he go 3 No. Can Jeans do it? Can Jeans do it, baby? I'm open. I'm open. Let's see what happens. He goes into Ndidi and Kingdra. Okay. Ndidi and Kingdra. It's not... It's, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. Psychic Surge is coming out here, so there's no first turn priority moves. I don't know if that applies for Gale Wing. I don't think that applies for Gale Wing. Because it's Brave Bird. 
And he's gonna boost his special defense, which is totally fine. I'm gonna hit him with a physical attack move. And I'm just gonna go Brave Bird into you and try to take you out. And I'm gonna just drop a big old rock slide. I'm gonna drop a big old rock slide. A big old sad rock slide. Maybe I should went to the X Scissor. Do some more damage. But I feel like this rock slide's gonna be clutch. Because my Tracheon should be faster than all of them. Unless he switches in the Swift Swim, which is probably what he's doing. But then that'll be a waste of the Psychic Surge. That'd be a total waste of a Psychic Surge. So he's gonna Dynamax Kingdra here. Unless he's throwing me a curveball. No, he Dynamaxes the Kingdra. And he's gotta go for a follow me, right? This guy's throwing me off hard. Throwing me off hard hard here. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it, Town Flame. He's gonna go for a follow me. He does go for a follow me. Totally fine. So Brave Bird and Rock Slide, I think, should be able to take this thing out. Let's see, Brave Bird comes out here. Really? The Psychic Terrain takes off Gale Wing? Really? Come on, man. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Bruh. So I couldn't have gotten off a Tailwind anyway. He takes out my Terrakion. Bruh, that's, that's whack. That is whack. Really? Psychic Terrain takes off of, from Gale Wing? Bruh. Bro, get out of my face. All right, um, we're going to take advantage of this rain and go in with our Azumarill. Or I could go on Lungus. Hmm. I cannot do anything with him. Right now, my talent point. Am I going to... Like, do I go for a Tailwind just for science reasons? <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm going to go for it. Just for science reasons. And I'm Dynamaxing, and I'm going for a Starfall. A huge power on here. He's probably going for another following. Can you please tell me that I can at least tailwind up in here. Like that'd be whack. That'd be whack. Oh my god, yo. So psychic terrain takes off Galen. Whack sauce. Let's get a big old Azumarill with huge power. This Pokemon looks so cool. It's just like a round oval egg looking thing with ears, arms, and a stubby little feet. <laughs> and a wicked tail. But can I use this? He goes for follow me. Can Tailwind come out? Tailwind. Okay, Tailwind does work. Okay, so Tailwind does work. That is lovely. That is lovely. Kingdra's obviously going to go. He's going to take out my Talon Flame or not. Where are you going to go? I forgot for my Talon Flame. My Azumarill. Oh my god, we eat up. We can say bye bye to the Kingdra. Kingdra gone. Get it out of here. Get Kingdra out of here. Huge power Azumarill coming in here. Your air stream is nothing. It's no stab damage. You're going to take, uh,. Life orb damage and then Starfall says Night Night with huge power stab. Oh no, you follow me. Ooh, but I'll still take out that Indeedee any day of the week. I will still take out that that Indeedee. And we change up the terrain. We're at full, full health. We get first turn priority now with our Brave Birds. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's go. So I definitely want to go into a uh, another Starfall over on the Kingdra and then a Brave Bird on whoever pops out on the other side. And I still have Amoongus in the bag. Like, can Amoongus clutch it up? Oh, he goes Hatterene, so Amoongus can potentially clutch it up. So, Brave Bird 100% over on you. He can roll Trick Room. I would actually, uh, I'd be totally fine if he rolls Trick Room. What do you want, fool? What are you gonna roll? You can't go Dragon on me. You cannot go Water on me. Airstream's not doing a lot of damage, so we're chilling. We're chilling. He's probably gonna guard. I should have actually thought of this. He's probably gonna guard. And I probably should have doubled up in the Hatterene. But, yo, your boy's fine. We got this. Like I said, we're going to try to go 3-0 with the online gaming community, baby. The Jeans online gaming community. It's so weird. Like, there's some Pokemon that you would think should have three typing. Like, Kingja should be Flying Dragon and Water. It should have all them in there. But it's just weird. It's just weird. Like, like there's some Pokemon that, like, the CGI should be Grass, Ghost, and Flying. Brave Bird comes out. He does guard here. How much damage is Brave Bird going to do? Brave Bird can do a decent amount. Let's not pick up the KO. You can go Trick Room. I'm fine by it. Your King Trick is the fastest right now, I think. Starfall comes out. Blah. It gets blocked. And Psychic comes out. Hey, leave me alone. You're just not rolling with the Tricky Room. And, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I might say my, uh, Baby Art could be faster than that King So, I'm gonna do with that. Now nah, I'm definitely gonna Starfall over onto this thing. Actually, why did I double up in that? It's actually, it's actually fine if we double up into it. It's fine because if the Brave Bird doesn't take out, we'll uh, slide over with that Starfall. But oh, this thing outspeeds anyway, so good thing we did go after that. That's gonna take out my Town Flame. Town Flame's gone. Bye bye, Town Flame. Thanks for coming. And we're gonna have to pull out a Moogie Moogie Woongie out here. 
and Starfall can take out the Kingdra. They see later, little boy. And I'm thinking he brought Polytoad or maybe Ferrothorn. Or maybe the Pharaoh of the Thorns. If he brings Ferrothorn, then that's a little tough for us. That's a little tough for us. I might just have to like Rage Powder out and keep hitting that thing with Fairy Moves. Second comes out, Zumarill will eat and survive another round. And we get our Citrus Berry, yes! <laughs> More HP, we go from 120 to 171, so not bad, 51 HP, and my boy Amoongus comes out, big old bulky boy, trying to come in clutch here, trying to come in clutch, yes sir, a little fake Pokeball Mushroom, and he goes with Incineroar, okay, okay, do we, uh, do we still have a Tailwind turn? Do I still have a Tailwind turn? I think we might, no, we probably don't, no, yes we do. I think I was Dyna I Dynamax first turn with uh, Izumarill. Let's see. One more Tailwind turn. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, definitely in Liquidation. And I could go Clear Swamp. Or I could Rage Powder just in case. Hmm. Why don't you go... No, I'm, I'm going to go Sport. I'm gonna... No, this thing could have Magic Bounce. Let me think. Let me think. We're just, just going to go Clear Swamp do damage. I think we should be able to outspeed uh, totally fine with this... Uh, with the Tailwind. And he goes for a Fake Out, you hunk of Junko. You hunk of Junko. He gets a crit too. That was big. That was big. Amoongus goes for a clear smile. Can we pick up the KO here? I don't think we are. I hope so. E! Leave me alone! He's gonna take out my Azumarill. And he's gonna roll Trick Room. So I can go I can still go for an Aqua Jet. I can still go for an Aqua Jet. This thing is okay. This thing has uh room service. Rain stop! No, I needed the rain! The rain would have been awesome. Rage Powder that. And I gotta... Do I go for Liquidation? From um, Rage Powder? Yes. Yes, I gotta go for Liquidation here. Try to pick up this KO. And then go for an Aqua Jet next turn. Because I don't think Aqua Jet could take out the... Uh, the Incineroar. I really do not think that. It's like it comes out. And Amoongus. Eat it up, buddy. Amoongus eats up. And what's coming out here? Dark Slariot? Liquidation goes beforehand. If we take this out, we got it in the bag. No! We do not. We do not. This thing's bulky. Oh, no. Take recoil damage. Just eat it. Oh, no. If Amoongus ate that, I think we would have won. And Amoongus does not eat. Tough situation here. Mist disappears from the battlefield. Hmm. I got Aqua Jet. That's fact. I wish I had a double-headed move. Who do I take out? No. So, I feel like Incineroar has a higher chance of missing. I'm going to go after the Hatterene. Aqua Jet comes out. Get it! Take out the Hatterene. Hatterene goes down. Miss, baby. Miss, Incineroar. Ah! Lash out. No! That's going to be game. Eat it. Oh, no way. No way. Bro, let's get it. <laughs> let's go. No way. This Aqua Jet better take out. No way. No way. Azumarill, I love you. Coming up, Clutch gets a crit to secure that kill. And he eats up a lash out on 48 health. Come on, Azumarill. You are the best. Let's go. 3-0. I told you guys I would do it. Are you kidding me? Azumarill just clutched that up. That was crazy. I totally thought we were done if he hit that attack. But we ate it up on 18 HP and won it with an Aqua Jet. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.